Hello, I'm Kai Liu from Georgetown University. Today, I'd like to share with you our work on nanoporous metal foams as efficient particulate filters. The World Health Organization has recognized air pollution as the number one environmental killer, causing over 7 million premature deaths annually. Vast majority of particulates are below 0.3 micron. They pose the most health risks since they can penetrate deep into the respiratory system. This size range is also hardest to filter because existing filtration mechanisms are least effective in this size range. The current COVID-19 pandemic also highlights the role airborne droplets and aerosols play in the spreading of infectious diseases. Those aerosols at one micron and below are especially worrisome because they can suspend in air. Current filters have various limitations. For example, N95 masks use electrostatics, so they are difficult to clean and reuse. The sheer volume of the waste masks and the PPE also pose severe environmental challenges. Therefore, we have developed the metal foams as an alternative type of uh, efficient and robust filters. The foams use metallic nanowires as building blocks. The di diameter of the wires can be adjusted from a few hundred nanometer to several microns. The overall density can be adjusted from a few percent to 30% of the bulk copper density. The microstructures including surface area, surface curvature, pore size and distribution can all be adjusted. Here is an example of a nine millimeter foam disc that we use for proof of principle demonstration. The foam is very lightweight, so it can be supported by the bristles of a green foxtail plant. And the same foam can support over 20,000 times its own weight without any deformation. We've measured the pressure differential across the foam. We find that they can sustain air speed of over 20 meters per second and one atmosphere pressure without degradation. And the pressure dependence on velocity is roughly linear for the typical face velocity uh, we see in face masks. And this coefficient inversely scales with breathability. So the smaller, the better. For N95 mask, this value is around one kilopascal second per meter. And we find the same thing in a one millimeter thick, 15% density copper foam. And even better one in a 0.8 millimeter, 5% one, we get half of this value which means twice as breathable as N95 mask. This is a demonstration of a, a filtration uh, doing a smoke test uh, with two pieces of foams. Uh, we see that one of them is already sufficient to capture over 98% of all the particles from the smoke. And this uh, mask can be cleaned by rinsing in water. A quantitative analysis shows that the copper foam exhibit close to 100% efficiency. Uh, I show two examples here for various size range. In particular, uh, for this 0.8 to 1.6 micron size range, which is very relevant for COVID-19 because that's the most dangerous type of aerosol size, uh, we have 99% efficiency. So for air filtration, the metal foams are very promising. Uh, because of their efficiency and the comparable breathability as N95 masks. Furthermore, because they are robust and durable, they can be cleaned and reused. They are also easy to recycle. Uh, these foams can be easily produced in industrial setting. We hope the metal foams may also find applications in brackish water filtration. Uh, a number of the characteristics are also applicable here, uh, including their mechanical properties, uh, their adjustable microstructure, and the foams can combine a number of physical and chemical filtration mechanisms. And certain metals also have antimicrobial uh, properties and their reusability and their recyclability are also a plus. Uh, this is a new area for us. Uh, so we hope to learn from the expert. Uh, please let us know how uh, we may contribute. Uh, here is our contact information and a QR code for the lab. Thank you very much for your attention.